Hello there and welcome to our channel. A very special video for you guys today. You're gonna like it, stay tuned. But first, let me give a shout out to Crystal B. He requested this video, so credit goes to him on the idea on this video. Yes, we're gonna talk about skills. And the very first thing is, I wanna let you know that I will be separating this in different videos because I can't spend one video talking about all of the skills. <laughs> It'll practically be a movie, so. I'm sure you don't want that. So I'm going to be separating it. So stay tuned because you're going to enjoy those videos and they very, they will be very beneficial and educational for you. Let's get started. We're going to start today with the common and these will be the basic skills that you should get regardless of what weapon you have. Okay. Again, stay tuned. I will make a video when I talk about what skills you should get for an assault rifle, for a submachine gun, for a machine gun, a shotgun, and a sniper and every other weapon out there such as pistols and melee but for today we're gonna focus on basic skills that you will need to get regardless of what equipment you're using now very first thing that you need to understand is on these skills some of these are worth gold and some of these are worth credits what you need to do is look on the right hand side i have already purchased them all so unfortunately i can't quote you on those prices but you're gonna need roughly about 2 million credits it sounds like a lot but <laughs> it really is not when you're grinding hard and you're working hard on your game you will obtain credits very easily 2 million credits to get all of the skills that you will need and you will need roughly about and it just depends between 60 and 80 thousand gold to get all of these skills let's get started we're going to start on the left hand side you're going to see all these skills the first one i'm lighting up is called increased damage now you see the elements, each one of these are required three out of three. There are few out there that are only one out of one, but this one has three stages. I've already purchased all three stages again, and you can see on the right hand side the benefit of this stage. It increases your damage by 10%. That's huge. Especially when you're thinking about an assault rifle, let's say like the Bushmaster or any other assault rifle there, let's say it's 130. 10% of that is 13 points. So now you're going from 130 to 143 damage. Now take into account the fire rate, how many rounds you're shooting per minute, right? Now what's getting more interesting. So these are very important. We're going to move over to the right side. Look at that. The increased armor, it increases by 15 points. Again, all three stages. This one would be five by five. And you want to start by getting all of these because these are very important in the comment section. This one increases the health increased accuracy and increases it by 10 percent this pretty much stabilizes your weapon so it doesn't shake that is very important fire rate decreases your fire by 10 percent this one's huge increases your reload speed by 10 percent and this you heard me say it has <laughs> speed is life so it is imperative that you get these now these are ones that you're going to probably get into the end now you should probably be very smart about how you're spending unless you have all the gold and you have all the credits you you have to be smart on which one you, you're going to buy these are super important look at this this one's called shield anti-sniper decreases incoming damage by 10 percent damaging with a sniper rifle any sniper rifle it'll reduce their damage by 10 percent a lot of sniper shoes is out there right now so this is imperative that you get this this one the anti-shotgun same as the sniper but this one reduces the shotgun damage by 10 percent you have the anti-assault rifle lowering the damage by 10%. You have the anti-machine gun, lowering the damage of a machine gun by 10%. The flashbang mastery. This one's a huge, increases the effect duration by 50% with the flashbang grenade. And if you're a smoke uh, grenade user, look at that, it does a lot. Now, I only have two out of three because I don't use it. Uh, notice I have gold, I have the credits to buy this. I have gold enough to buy this, but I don't really use it. So. It's completely up to you if you do want to get it don't judge me for not having that last one <laughs> i could just spend the 1500 gold but i'm very conservative so i i don't use it now many people do right throw a smoke bomb and it helps out but i personally play with a lot of heat vision and anytime people see me play they pull out their heat vision so it wouldn't really make much of a difference now we're gonna move over to the sniper section and I want you to understand this. Just because it's a sniper, right? The sniper section does not mean that this applies only to sniper. The very first one I'm looking at, the increased accuracy, you're gonna see there and you need to read 
the description. Increases accuracy by 10% while moving at assumed in state. Okay, this is, notice how it doesn't say sniper rifle. Now, if I'm over to this one, you see that change? Increases movement speed by 10% with a sniper rifle. Again, see that? This one's for every weapon out there. Just because it's in the sniper category does not mean it's only for snipers. This one is, it says specifically for snipers. This one, also specifically for snipers. That one, no, it's not for snipers, right? This is for every weapon out there, whatever you're using. And this is important, right? It increases your health points by 15%. Here's another one. Increases your armor points by 20 points, super important. This one, a lot of people don't have it. This is so important. And you, and you, when you read the description, it throws you off. Increases damage by 50% over five seconds, one time per lifetime when players HP, which is health points, drops below 20 points. Yes, it does happen. You think about it. Oh, when am I going to be at 20 points? It does happen, especially if you have strategy and you're constantly hiding, taking cover. Imagine that, right? Imagine you have uh, the Bushmaster with 133 damage. Multiply that times two because you're going to get by 50%, right? Or not times two, but you're going to get 50% out of the 133. So now you have a lot of damage. So it does help out. This one's very important to have. This one as well. The Stealth Mastery hides your presence on the minimap from other players. I look at my minimap every time I'm playing. I assume that you do as well. I've always suggested that you look at your minimap so you can see where players are. This hides you from the minimap. So the enemy will know where you are. I know where the enemy is by that red dot on that minimap. It shows me where you are. So get this so that I don't know where you are. <laughs> if you have a sniper armor, this is super important. This is huge. It already has damage prevention, but this one damage prevention over one hit hits with sniper armor. What it does is it gives you that extra protection it, in short terms without going too scientific or theoretical on you. <laughs> it pretty much erases the second bullet that you receive. So somebody shoots you four times, theoretically only four, but only two bullets of those four hit you. Somebody shoots you twice. Only one of those bullets will damage you. You ever seen that, right? You're hitting somebody with this, with the using the sniper armor and you hit them and their health doesn't drop. It's because they have this skill. Get it? It's very imperative. You have the sniper armor. Assault again, same thing I told you, it's a sniper side. Just because it's on the assault side, meaning referring to assault rifles, doesn't mean it's specifically only to assault rifles. Look at this one, for example, tactic course. Uh, the tactical course, I'm sorry. It increases the reload speed by 15%. That's huge, right? Remember the other one that I showed you here? 10? You buy the, you buy this one? Now 25% reload speed. That's huge. Now imagine you throw on the elite gloves. That's another increase in reload speed. And let's say you throw in the best car helmet. More and more, right? That's where you become strategic. But again, you look at these skills. This does not pertain specifically for assault rifles. Look at this one. This one is increases effective range by 5% with assault rifle. This one is for assault rifle. So make sure you look at these labels. Look at that. This one's a basic one, or I call it a common one as well, right? It increases your health points by 20 points. Very, very important. And look at that, right? Just because it's in that category, don't get thrown off. Decreases incoming damage by 20%, right? Those for bomb users won't be able to take you down as easily. You got the 20% there. Let's go back to this one. Now you got 30%, right? So imperative. And demolition. This one is, is known as the machine guns one because it has a lot of machine gun ones. You're gonna see right away. Look at that. Increases accuracy by 15% for machine guns. But again, take a look. Not all of these are for machine guns. This one increases your health points by 15 points. It's very important. This is super important, especially if you're throwing mines out there. You're throwing grenades, increases grenade explosion damage by 50%. That's huge. If you ever stepped on a mine and it takes so much health from you or so much armor from you is because that person probably has this skill. So it's imperative that you get it. Increases the health points by 20 points. This one's huge. Increases explosion radius by 30%. That means that the distance around that it actually gives you damage. So that's super important. And this one is so huge. This would be one of the first ones that you get. Decreases incoming damage by 5% on every single weapon so it is imperative that this should be on your priority list when you're working on your skills this one's important as well increases explosion protection by 15 percent the max is 70 allowed but 
you get these skills, you don't have to worry about whatever helmet you get because you'll be at the max. And last but not least is the scout section. And this one houses a lot of good ones, right? Again, look at these. This is important. It increases the health points by 20 points. Look at that. You've heard me say it. I'll say it again, right? Movement or speed is life. So these are very important ones as well. Make sure you look at this. We'll move over to the right side. If you if increases the effective range by 50% with the shotgun. If you're a shotgun user, this is very important that you get this. There's a various good ones in here as well. Look at this one. The increases decreases the incoming damage by 30%. Any sniper rifle out there. Remember, we just covered some previous ones. So it is important that you get those. And if we keep on moving forward, when you take a look at this next one, increases the grenade throw speed. This is how quickly you throw the grenade. Some people take forever and they get killed when they're throwing their grenade or their mines or their flashbangs. It's for all everything, all those hand weapons that you're throwing, right? They die because they're going very slow. You need this. It's very important. Now you're gonna see I don't have this one because this is for the mine sweeper armor. I don't use that armor, it's not very good. I don't recommend it. I would suggest that you get the sniper armor, the Kevlar armor, or the Demomon armor. That one's very important in point point capture, so it's important that you get it. This one's pretty cool as well. Increases the med kit effect duration by 75%. That's amazing. That's a really big help. Speed again, right? <laughs> I said it before, speed is life. Ensure that you do get those. We hit the end of the video. Don't forget to give us a like, subscribe, Hit the notification bell. Do me a favor. Support us. Help us out. <laughs> we work very hard on these videos. And stay tuned because, again, we'll have new videos coming out on the different skills for assault rifles, what you should get for when you have an assault rifle, which skills you should get when you have a machine gun, what skills you get when you have a shotgun and a sniper rifle. You shouldn't buy just random skills. Don't buy all the skills because you don't need them unless you're actually using those weapons. Stay tuned. We'll see you in the next one.